could have easily focused this entire video on sites dedicated to the Texas Revolution, but I wanted to go more broad than that. We're going to start off with the pre-Columbian era, and my choice for my favorite state historic site from the pre-Columbian era is Waco Tank State Park. Waco Tanks is deep in the Chihuahuan Desert. Over the eons, the weather has hollowed out these divots and indentations in the rocks of Waco Tanks. And rainwater will pool in the rocks, which provides a, a water source in the desert for the local flora and fauna and people traveling through. And has for centuries. And over the centuries, the people traveling through that area have left behind petroglyphs on the rocks. If you go to Waco Tanks, you can take a self-guided tour of the North Mountain, or you can reserve a guided tour of one of the other mountains in the area. The artifacts and artwork at Waco Tanks do need protecting, so they do limit access to just a handful of people at a time. One of the benefits of that is that the park is never really all that crowded. One of the drawbacks is that you may have a challenging time getting in if you get there late. And even if you're not interested in the petroglyphs, if you're into bouldering and rock climbing and stuff like that, Waco Tanks has some world-class bouldering. Next up on the list, we're going to move into the Texas Revolution. Now, some of the obvious locations for this time frame would be the Alamo or the San Antonio Missions National Historic Site or the San Jacinto Battleground. Instead, I have chosen to go with a location that is equally as important to the story of the Texas Revolution, but doesn't get quite as much traffic. It's located just downriver from the Alamo, and it's called Presidio La Bahia. Combined with Mission Espiritu Santo, which is literally across the highway in Goliad State Park, they form the only remaining mission and presidio complex left in Texas. Between the two of them, you can get a really good first-hand education into the Spanish colonial period and one of the most infamous events in the Texas Revolution, the Goliad Massacre, which happened partially inside the walls of Presidio La Bahia. As an added bonus, one of the heroes of Mexican history was born outside the walls of Presidio La Bahia. So while you're there, check out the Zaragoza birthplace to learn about the hero of the Battle of Puebla and get a little background on Cinco de Mayo. If you're keeping an eye on your budget, you can camp at Goliad State Park. We've done it. It's a great place to camp. If you have the quid for a more unique experience, you might want to rent the officer's quarters at the Presidio La Bahia for the night. It is a very interesting, kind of spooky experience. Very cool. For my final historic site selection, we're going to step into the modern era, and I've chosen Battleship Texas State Historic Site. The battleship presents a unique opportunity to check out a dreadnought class battleship. It's the only one left, I believe, that saw service in World War I and World War II. And since they've opened the engine room, there's actually a pretty wide range of decks that you can explore on Battleship Texas. As an added bonus, adjacent to the Battleship Texas is San Jacinto State Historic Site, which is the location of the battlefield where Texas won her independence from Mexico on April 21st, 1836. Adjacent to the battleship is the old Texian encampment where the Texian soldiers were encamped prior to the battle. And, and also afterwards, it's also most likely the site of the surrender of Santa Ana. Technically, you can spend the night at Battleship Texas. However, that's usually done by like youth groups and large organizations like Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. There's no camping anywhere near Battleship Texas or San Jacinto State Historic Site. There might be a few private campgrounds nearby. The nearest two uh, state parks that I'm aware of that do have camping, probably Huntsville State Park to the north and probably Brazos Bend State Park to the southwest. We've done other videos on all of these locations in the past, so I'm going to have links to those videos in the description box below. I'm also going to have links to all of the official websites and related blog posts for all of these locations in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you'd like to see more like this, hit that round subscribe icon or that red subscribe button down there in the bottom right. Don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment box below, and we'll see you guys next week.